It's the aircraft carrier that Britain no longer has. The Charles de Gaulle is not just the French Navy's flagship, it's a projection of military might that can be deployed almost anywhere in the world. We joined the carrier off Libya's coast. And this is what's been happening for the past two months. An endless stream of warplanes being launched loaded with bombs. A giant floating runway within easy reach of its target. What's the great advantage of having this warship is that these warplanes will be arriving at their targets within just a matter of minutes. That's what makes this such a formidable weapon. This is Louis, one of those pilots carrying out the attacks. Within 20 minutes of his launch, he'll be flying over Libya, having to face the decision whether or not to drop his bombs. Even if we find a target, first thing we're going to do is to take ourselves to think about it. Is he threatening the population or not? While above deck, air traffic controllers coordinate the flights. Below, in two cavernous hangars, aircrew maintain more than 20 planes. Here in the control room, the ship's company can monitor land, sea and air. France is the only NATO nation to have this capability. The captain of the ship says it would have helped to have other carriers working alongside. Yes, of course, I think in this kind of operations, it would be better to have two or three uh, rather than one, but you do with what you have. France appears to be stepping up the offensive. This carrier will soon be joined by an assault ship loaded with ground attack helicopters, signaling a new phase in the military campaign. It may be uh, next operations, and uh, you can understand that uh, because I, I won't tell uh, what could be the next operations in the future. But you could be using ground attack or, uh, uh, helicopters. All the possibilities are uh, in force. It'll be a decade before British pilots can land their jets like this. France is already convinced their carrier is proving its worth. Jonathan Beale, BBC News, on the Charles de Gaulle.